Hi, this is Matt with CustomCarGrills.com. This video will show you how we transform the 2015 Mustang GT factory grill into a whole different style. To do this, we'll gut out the plastic honeycomb by following the lines that are already provided to us. If you look at the back of the factory grill, there's a clear separation between the smooth plastic and a textured plastic. We use that line between the two plastics as a guide for where to cut using our rotary tool. Once you complete a full pass around the part, the factory honeycomb should come right out. At this point, there should be a fair amount of excess plastic around the cuts. The bigger chunk should break off by hand. To smooth the back of the opening even further, we're going to use a 100 grit sandpaper at first. Then, I'll smooth it out with something closer to 220, and then, if you want, you can go even finer just for a nice smooth clean edge on the back. Now, let's check our work for a nice clean cut edge all the way around. The corners are sometimes in need of a little extra cleanup. In this case, there was a small bit of plastic that I'm able to easily smooth out using a knife, but you can sometimes sand these areas out if you're very careful. The top of the lower grill is the only edge that doesn't already have a clean line to follow for the cutting. To mark a line for the cuts, I'm simply using a ruler and a silver marker. One thing to keep in mind is that the center comes to a V-shaped point. The rest of the lower grill should be pretty straightforward, just like the top piece was. The honeycomb will pop out with just one pass of cutting. Excess plastic should pick off with ease, just like on the top piece as well. And then all you need to do is some sanding, starting with a coarse paper and then refining it down with something lighter. The mesh pieces we make already come semi-pre-bent, but the final bends need to be done by the person doing the final installation. Making the final bends won't harm the finish of the grill piece, and should be easily accomplished with just a little bit of patience. When properly bent, the pieces should slide on the back of the factory grill and should come in contact or be close to coming in contact with the black plastic. The corners might have slight gaps, only seen from the back. The first step in fastening the mesh to the factory grill is to secure it on with cable ties. I'm using a soft foam in between the tie and the grill to guard against any marks that may be left as a result of tightening down the ties. Here's a look at our work thus far. The mesh is securely pressed up against the back of the factory grill, and we're almost done. For these types of installations, I like using an adhesive called Automotive Goop. The key here is to get the adhesive between the mesh and the grill so it'll create a strong bond. A good amount of adhesive is needed to properly secure the mesh on, but we also need to be cautious not to overdo it so that the adhesive doesn't run into areas we don't want it to go. Between the top and bottom set, I used two tubes of goop total. After it's dried for about 24 hours total, it's time to cut the ties off and remove the foam. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the stock grill and the newly modified version that we just completed. It's always a best practice to make sure your mesh is secured on well before reinstallation. I think this has a better visual appearance than the stock grill and has a bit more protection in comparison to other mods where the grill is left completely wide open. At this time, we have the option to buy these as pre-made full OEM replacement pieces using genuine Ford parts. Or, if you want to do this on your own parts, a DIY pre-cut and pre-bent mesh kit is also available. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe to our channel, as well as check out our website, Facebook page, and iOS app.